Doe, we zijn nee. dus Ze vieren geworden. nog altijd de overwinning van Wereldoorlog 2. No, it's about treasuring the memory of those who gave their lives for the fact that outsiders yeah. who made it, uh, the survival possible. Yeah. And well, what I, I mean, it sh they should better demonstrate against the regime nowadays. Putin and um, yeah, the corruption and so on. This clip was really to do with the fact that for Russians still by far more than for an average Western European, the memory of the war is sacred. Mm -hmm. And the eternal flame is a standard, you can say, memorial in various Russian cities, yeah. which commemorates the fallen soldier, the unknown fallen soldier. Yeah. So bringing up historic memory in the kids that you do not need to let the war happen again, I yeah. find personally a very important part of education. In, in, in terms of, of politics, how do young people look at the, the Putin regime? There are a variety of opinions, like in any country. There is 150 million people in the country, so there are various groups, and some of them are very pro-Putin. Mens begint me echt op de zenuwen te werken, weet je dat? Echt waar, echt waar. Vertel, Jan. Ja, dat is, dit is alles glad strijken en... Uh, it's not like that. Russia is a very corrupt country. You've been there, right? No, but I read papers. Dutch papers? And, and you talk too smooth now. <laughs> and you, you read you Dutch papers? You irritate me. <laughs> OK, I'm sorry. That's a, no, you that's don't a Belgian... have to say sorry. But it's but a Belgian thing, sorry, you, 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 talk, you talk around the truth. And the truth is written in Dutch newspapers? A corrupt country. Putin is a corrupt man. Stated by? Jan Mulder. <laughs> <laughs> a sports specialist, I presume. Yeah. But, what, what, do you, what do you think of Putin, of Vladimir Putin? I think it's been too much of him, and I actually am not happy at all personally with how things are developing at the moment. Mm. And will there be a change? Will it, do you see any chance of a change over there? At the moment, I find... At the upcoming elections, I think Putin would win, and I personally find it unfortunate, but I also unfortunately don't see another option at the moment because there is no real opposition. Mm -hmm. There are people who are unhappy, and they go out and they proclaim uh, that we are so unhappy, we are against this, that, and the other, but there is no opposition with an alternative program. There's no real alternative. And there is no real leader mm -hmm. of the opposition, yeah. which is unfortunate. As, as we het over de jeugd hebben, Russische jeugd, Belgische jeugd, wat vind jij het grootste verschil? Het grootste verschil vond ik dat, dat ze precies sneller weten wat ze willen. Dus dat ze ook echt, en, en dat ze daar ook volledig voor gaan. Dus dat ze zeggen van, kijk, uh, over zoveel jaar wil ik dat bereikt hebben, wil ik die job doen. Dus veel sneller ik... keuzes maken. Ja, dat ze echt zo, uh, zo die keuzestress van bij ons, zo van, oh, ik ben nu dertig en wat zou ik nu gaan doen? Oei, en straks ben ik veertig en heb ik dat en dat en dat en dat, en dat nog niet gedaan. Um, dat zit er daar niet in. Dat is zo heel duidelijk van, ja, kijk, ik ben nu aan het studeren. Um, over een jaar gaan we trouwen. Uh, dan over zoveel jaar heb ik dan zoveel kinderen. En voilà, dat is mijn plan. En ja, ja wij zouden alles zeggen van, oh shit, ja, heb, ik, heb ik dat nu goed gedaan? Of uh, bijna is het echt allemaal heel duidelijk. Rusland voor beginners, vanaf vrijdag te zien op Canvas. Hartelijk dank, Kirsten Lemaire en Lena de Winnen.